So here we are in Revit and let's start a new project by going to new project choosing an architectural template and clicking OK. Naturally the next thing one would do would be just to insert the point cloud by going to insert and clicking on point cloud. And here's our sample RCP project file. Let's choose origin to origin as an option because we want to match the origin of our point cloud with the origin of our Revit file. Open. And as you can see, it looks like nothing happened. But if we choose Zoom Extends by double clicking the middle mouse button, we can see the point cloud imported. Problem is, we haven't even set up the project and we've already made a mistake. And not a small one for that matter, but the one that would render this project completely useless. Although the surveyor has provided us with a perfectly fine scan and has set up the origin point himself, we haven't done the same thing in Revit. We haven't demanded the origin point of Revit. And here's how to do that. First of all, I will just delete the point cloud we have just imported because it's useless, as I've previously said and try to find the origin point of Revit's so we could set it up properly. If you go and move the project or try to zoom in or out, you'll soon realize there is no origin point in Revit to be seen unless you turn on the light that is. Ah, there it is. It does look like a strange kind of origin. It looks like an icon with two overlapped signs and it actually is. If you try and click on it, you'll realize there's one icon above and one below. The triangle, which I'm trying to click on, is below, and this little circle is above. And as I move the icon, some of the coordinates change. But much more important than that, we can now read that this icon refers to the project base point shared site. And this is the point for which we will amend the coordinates for north, south and elevation and of course angle to true north. And the other icon, the triangle one, is the site survey point which we will never ever move because that would mess up our project completely. So let's go and enter the coordinates. Before I go into changing the project base point coordinates, just one more explanation. Why do we need to move the project base point and not the other one? The survey point, internal shared site, origin point. Because this point, the project base point, is the one that we need to match with the project base point of the point cloud scan our surveyor has prepared for us. This origin point simply has to match up with the yellow origin point in the recap scan file I have previously shown. It is very likely that the coordinates will be passed to you from the surveyor in a simple txt file like this. And you will just have to copy paste them to the correct place. Try zoom extends again by double clicking the middle mouse button. Zoom extends again. Elevation is the next coordinate to enter. And finally, angle to true north. And that's about it. Now we are ready to open the scan file and match the both origin points.
and as in the previous example we will use the auto origin to origin option. What you can see immediately is obvious when you zoom in on the origin icon. Here is our scan. We can now confidently turn off the light because we don't need to see the origin point anymore and this also prevents us from moving it and avoiding the movement of origin point is very important and avoiding the movement of point cloud is probably the second most important thing we should do there are different techniques for doing this including putting your point cloud in a separate work set and locking it down with the pin command and to be completely safe you should probably do both of these meaning putting the point cloud in a separate work set locking it down and activating the pin command but since the focus of this course is to clarify the workflows for scan to bim and not work sharing amongst teams I will focus on the simplest way of locking down your point cloud and that is using the pin command so let's select the point cloud pin it down and you will notice that when you hover over your point cloud and try to move it it just doesn't move now you may encounter flickering when you move your cursor above the point cloud and that's very annoying and that may happen if you have your select pin elements unchecked so please check your select and pin elements so it gets a little red cross and now when you hover over your scan it won't flicker and it will also be perfectly locked this whole setup would not be of much use without properly set up levels with our level 0 going through the scan origin point so let's turn on the origin point visibility and let's draw our level 0 through the origin point let's call it level 0 select yes to make a floor plan view and we can uncheck reveal hidden elements needless to say if you're not overly confident in your coworkers or to be exact in them moving your level 0 you should put the level 0 in a separate work set and lock it down now that we have the level 0 set up we can add all the additional levels that we need in the project which usually correspond to floor levels as is the case with most of other project types all that's left is to transform these levels into floor plans by going to view plan views selecting both of the levels selecting floor plan and clicking OK if we check the north view we will see that we have two new floor plans created 